Hi, my name is Rohini Vij and I'm a storyteller. I'm really excited to be here today because today I'm going to be reading from a rather special book. The name of this book is Discover More with Ford and it's been published by Ford India. This book is really special because it's been written by me. The book has been illustrated by Priya Kurian. Hi, I'm your favorite car. I live in a busy Indian city with a wonderful family. I love my glossy color, my plush seats, my smart screen. The list goes on and on and on. Uh, okay, I'm not a show off. I'm just giddy with pride. This is Dia, my best friend. She takes good care of me. She's a careful and cautious driver who always follows traffic rules. Dia says we are responsible not just for ourselves but for others too. Every time we drive together, I have a big smile on my face. I love it when we drive on the highway where we can go really fast. But no matter how much I love speed, I make sure that I stay in check. Dia says it's better to be safe than sorry. On special days, Dia takes me for a fancy car wash. The first time I visited the car wash, I was very, very scared. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> squeak, squeak. I feel squeaky clean. Wow, not a speck of dust on you, Dia said. And I told her, I'm not scared anymore. What a beautiful day it is today. Seems perfect for a car wash. Perhaps Dia will surprise me. Ah, there she comes. Hey, wait, she isn't alone. That's Dia's sister Ria with her kids, Jay and baby Nuri. So, today is not about me, it's about them. What is Dia carrying? A car seat. It must be for baby Nuri. It's picnic day, let's go. That's what Dia is telling Jay. And Jay is really excited because he's saying, Picnic? Hooray! I am really excited. You see, it's my first time carrying kids. But why is baby Nuri crying so much? What is she saying? <laughs> mommy lap. To which her mommy says, I'm sorry Nuri, you will have to sit on your special seat. It will keep you safe. There's no wiggling out of it. Besides, Jay will be right next to you. Let me check the child lock. Child lock, click. Ah, now everybody's sitting inside. Are we ready? Click, click, click. Ready, steady, go. What? Baby Nuri is still crying. Mama, why can't I sit in the front like you? Oh, the kids seem very uncomfortable. Let's see what Dia has to say to that. Jay, you can't sit in the front till you turn 13. 13? Not well, clearly Jay is not happy with that. But then Dia has an answer for everything. She tells him, Have I told you the story about the airbags? No. Story time! Baby Nuri likes stories. And so do I. Yay! I love listening to stories. Dia starts with this story. Deep inside the car, 
there lived some gentle giants known as airbags these airbags have a superpower that remains hidden until it is needed what superpower do these airbags have i'm wondering uh jay has the same question what superpowers but dia has an answer for everything she tells us a little bit more their superpower is that they fill up with air so quickly that they become super balloons bounce baby nuri copies but dia carries on the air bags protect and cushion the adults sitting in the front but their power is too strong for children they will hurt a child if they inflate onto them aha wow i'm sure jay has now understood why he can't sit in the front did i tell you that i have two air bags in the front and four air bags on the sides dia says it's better to have more air bags than a few so that everyone in the car is protected in case of an accident that's why i love dia so much something's buzzing is it dia's phone oh yes it is jay has heard the phone buzzing too and he tells dia about it your phone is ringing but dia is pointing to something she's pointing to a sticker what does the sticker say it says no cell phone use while driving one should always keep their eyes on the road and hands on the wheel because and we all say it's better to be safe than sorry oh we are about to reach a crossing Why have you stopped the car, Marcy? The traffic light is about to turn red. But the light was orange when you stopped. We could have passed. That's right. The light was orange when we reached to the crossing. But Dia explains. When the light turns orange, you must slow down and prepare to stop. Says baby Nuri. Smart Nuri. Oh now look at the traffic lights the light is changing from red to green green go 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 but dia is not moving and she tells us why let's wait until the people crossing the road reach the other side remember we must be courteous to others on the road can you hear something ni no ni no ni no can you all say this with me ni no ni no ni no and just like you and me jay and baby nuri also started saying ni no ni no and then jay says here comes an ambulance let's allow it to pass masi ni no ni no ni no and the ambulance overtakes us that's right jay as responsible citizens we must understand that someone on the ambulance may need medical attention immediately and they must reach a hospital in the golden hour golden hour jay is confused and so am i would you like to know what the golden hour is well ria is going to tell us that she says The first hour after an accident or a critical emergency is called the golden hour. Medical treatment given within this time can save a life. Jay likes this idea and he tells everybody in the car, "I will always keep that in mind. Will you keep that in mind too?" Well, I sure will. Aware, careful and caring. That's what this family is. It's no wonder that I adore them. Ah, we are just about to reach our destination. I can see the map. But Jess seems uncomfortable. Mama, may I unbuckle the seat belt for a second? I'd like to take off my jacket. Oh no, I'm worried because that's not a very good idea. Just then his mother says something. 
Jay, it's not safe to unbuckle your seat belt in a moving car. <sighs> I'm glad she told him that. Look, we've arrived at our destination. I've learned so much about safety on the road. I hope you have too. Now they're all getting off the car. Dia says, take care Ford, we will be back soon. But look at this, Jess seems to really like me. He's kissing my bonnet. And guess what he says? Thank you for being a friend on this journey. Oh. Now I look at them. They're having a wonderful time. They're really enjoying their picnic. Ah, I love this family. And I send them a message as I honk softly. Be back soon and be safe.